welcome back to my channel it's your girl cc back with another video if you guys are new to my channel thank you so much for coming by and watching this video and please take a second to hit that red subscribe button so that you do not miss any more uploads from me and if you are one of my faithful subscribers thank you guys so so much for coming back i love you guys so Today's video is actually going to be a faves and fails video. If you are new to my channel and you're not familiar with these types of videos, basically I go through items that I have used up lately and I give you kind of mini reviews on them to let you know if these are things that I would repurchase or if these are things that were just a total fail for me. And I like doing these types of videos simply because the whole reason I'm here on YouTube is to let you guys know what's good, what's not good, what works, what doesn't work, and save you guys some money. So I like to do these types of videos so I could just kind of go through and just tell you what to spend your money on and what is just total fail so that's what i'm gonna be doing today so i have this mac bag full of empties that i want to go ahead and review so i'm just going to go right into it and let's just go ahead and get started so no particular order i'm just gonna be grabbing things and we're just gonna go with it so the first thing in here is this urban decay d slick makeup setting spray it looks like that as you can see i've definitely used it because there's makeup all over it <laughs> and this was just okay it's specifically for oily skin girls like me and it's supposed to control oil and basically set your makeup and keep your makeup from moving Honestly, I didn't see a huge difference between my NYX matte finish setting spray that y'all know is like bay right now. I'm ride or die for my NYX. And this, so I feel like for the price that you would pay for Urban Decay, just go ahead and pay the $7 and get the NYX. It lasted just about as long as my NYX. Um, this is the one fluid ounces. I think my NYX one is like two ounces. So... I would just go with the next one because honestly it's seven dollars and it works just as good as this one so I wouldn't be repurchasing that one okay I went through a clean and clear advantage acne control three-in-one foaming wash I love this stuff if you have oily skin or if you have acne prone skin or if you're like me and you have both girl you need this in your life. It is so, so good. It's at the drugstore. It is a little bit pricey for a drugstore product, but let me tell you, it works so, so good. You can definitely feel the medicine in here. It's very, very strong, especially for a drugstore product, but literally, if you get a new pimple, I would, I'm going to be honest with you. This bottle claims overnight, I wouldn't say overnight, but I would definitely say within two or three days, your entire pimple will be dried up. So yes, you need this in your life for sure. And I went through a CVS Skin Purifying Astringent for Sensitive Skin. This was okay. I ended up going back to my Seabreeze because I used to use it all the time when I was in middle school and high school and it just worked so, so good. And I can definitely tell a difference because now that I'm using my Seabreeze, I'm actually seeing more dirt on my cotton pad. Whereas when I was using this, I wasn't really seeing a lot of dirt on the cotton pad. So I'm like, so was this not really cleaning my skin? But yeah, it was just okay. I wouldn't repurchase it. But it was just okay. The next thing that I have is a hair product. This is by Cream of Nature. This is the Argan line. This is the Heat Defense Smooth and Shine Polisher. Girl, yes. I actually need to buy some more of this because as you can see, I've got some flyaways going on. But this is really, really great. Whether you wear weaving your hair like I do or you have natural hair, this is so, so good. What I do with this is I just take a little bit of the palm of my hand, put it all over my hair. Definitely when I'm getting ready to put my foam rollers in there or if I'm going to actually apply some heat to my hair and it is so so good for keeping your hair shiny and keeping it from breaking off or if it's just dry and it just needs a little bit of a boost it's really great because it is an oil but it's not super super heavy and weighing your hair down it still leaves your hair just very light and flowy and it's just works so so good so I'm I'm already on my way to repurchasing that. But yeah, you definitely need to check that out. 
Okay, this is the Degree Dry Protection Power Clean Invisible Solid. I mean, I've been using Degree, gosh, probably since like puberty. I love it. And this is the one that I always end up going back to. So I love it. Next thing I have in here is the Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar Shower Gel. I got this at the semi-annual Bath & Body Works sale that they had. I believe it was right after Christmas. And I absolutely love this. I mean, anything that's vanilla scented, girl, I love it. So this was really, really good. The next thing that I have in here is this e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder Duo. It looks like that. And I actually did not use this up, but this is the blush over here and this is the contouring powder. And I will swatch both of these. I didn't like these because they're just not pigmented. I mean, this is the blush. As you can see, you can barely, like, barely see that. So when you put it on, it just looks like you don't have anything on. And then the contour powder looks like that. And this is what it looks like swatch. And it's just so super, super dark. I'll probably put it in my freelance kit just for when I do makeup on girls that are definitely, like, darker than me. Because this, I mean, seriously, this contour powder is just way too dark for me. But, I mean, it's a good product if you have the skin tone where you can get it to work for you. But I just couldn't do anything with it. Next thing I have in here is a foundation. This is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil Free Makeup Foundation. And this is in the shade 08 Medium Beige. I like this, honestly. It was just a hair too dark for me. So I would mix it with my NARS Creamy Radiant um, Foundation to kind of, well, whatever it's called. It's like the NARS Luminous whatever foundation. I would mix it with that just to kind of even it out a little bit. It was really good with covering like acne and stuff like this. This has a blemish treatment on the inside so it's supposed to clear skin. I didn't really see a huge difference with my acne using this but I mean it was really good. If you can find it in your shade definitely check it out because it's a really really good foundation. Another makeup product that I didn't completely use up but it was just time for this to go. This is the Lancome Color Design Eyeshadow Quad. And this is what that looks like. And the eyeshadows had just dried up. I had hit pan on the highlight one. It's really, really good. But it just dried up. And it was just time for it to go. Because it is so, so old. Okay. Next, I have this Makeup Forever Sensitive Eyes Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. I got this from Sephora. This is the sample size. This works so, so good. The only reason I'm not repurchasing this is because I found another one that I got in my Ipsy bag that I just have fallen in love with that I think is 10 times better than this one. But this one is definitely worth checking out. It's a really, really good one. And it didn't irritate my eyes or anything. I did feel like it was difficult to apply because it kind of comes out in a creamy type texture versus it being liquidy so it was a little bit difficult to apply but I mean it's definitely worth checking out I liked it it did the job I just wouldn't repurchase it because I found something I like better this next one is another body wash from Bath & Body Works this is the pink chiffon OMG this smells so so good and I ended up buying this in the full size because I just love the way it smells it smells so good so that's definitely worth checking out a lot of samples in here this month like what is going on okay so this next one i definitely need to repurchase this because girl it is bomb it is the it cosmetics tight line full lash black primer is the full name of it basically it's a mascara I really, really like it because I feel like for bottom lashes, I have not found anything, anything on the market that works better than this. It is so, so good. Let me just show you why I'm obsessed with this. So, do you see how small 
this brush is. I mean, it's so small that it can just get into those bottom lashes. And even if you don't have bottom lashes, this will just give you lashes that you never even thought you had. Okay, this is so, so good. So I definitely, let me put that to the side because girl, I definitely need to repurchase that. Okay, I went through a Warm Vanilla Sugar Mini Back. Already repurchased it. This is like one of my favorite Bath and Body Works since ever. I'm telling you, if you like anything vanilla, you definitely need to check it out because it is so, so good. I didn't use this up, but I just did not like this. This is by the Beauty Prop Lightning Crew, and this is the Highlighting Cream. This came in a Boxy Charm. I think I got this in Ipsy and Boxy Charm. It's a highlighting cream that basically I was using underneath my highlight. And this is what it looks like. Swatched. This one right here. I mean, it was just okay. I'm not into like the overly frosty purple looking highlights. I just don't feel that they look good on my skin tone. But I'll definitely throw it in my freelance kit. I think there's one already in there. I gotta double check. But yeah, um, I mean, it's good. It would be flattering maybe on other skin tones. It's for personal preference. I just don't like it. Okay, I went through two of the Clean and Clear Makeup Wipes, which you guys know I have raved about these on my channel for so long. They are just so, so good. I love those. I went through a sample size of my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This is really, really good for nighttime. As you guys know, I have oily skin, so girl, I would not dare leave the house with a hydrating moisturizer on. Okay, I need all the mat. Just give me all the mat you can give me. But at nighttime when I do my acne treatment and, you know, I'm just not going anywhere, this is really good because it puts that moisture back in the face that sometimes the acne treatments can tend to dry out your skin. So this is really, really good. I would actually repurchase that. It was really good. This has been a staple for me for so, so long. And I love this stuff. This is the Mary Kay Satin Hands. This is the peach one. This is the sample size. I already have like two full size ones. If I don't buy anything else from Mary Kay, I will always, always, always buy the peach hand cream because it is so, so good. It keeps your hands from getting dry. I probably should put some on now because my hands are kind of dry. But this is just so, so good. I also use it on my feet to hydrate like my heels and you know just to keep my feet moisturized as well so this you definitely need to get it because it is good next thing I've been on the fence about this it has been literally laying in my vanity for like a year now and I took it with me when I went home for Christmas because I was like well it's a small palette it's travel size I'm gonna try it out and when I tried these shadows I was like ew no just no it is the Smashbox full exposure and this is what the shadows look like so I thought it would be great because you have your four matte shades you've got your four shimmer shades and they're all like neutral tones but when I put them on they just did not look good on me it fallout was crazy I was just like they just didn't show up on me like they just weren't pigmented and I just did not like these so I wouldn't even put this in my freelance kit I would just I'm just gonna toss it because it just was not good okay I tried these out. This is the Sally Henson Hair Remover Wax Strip Kit. Hated, hated, hated this. It did not do anything. Sometimes I get little hairs on my face or like on my chin area. Um, I didn't want to use it. A wax strip to do your brows. I just have never understood the purpose of that. You really need like hot wax to do your brows. So it claims that it's for face hair, bikini hair, and brow hair. And when I waxed it, the hair just sat there and looked at me like, ha ha, I'm not going anywhere. I mean, it just was not good. So I wouldn't recommend it. The only good thing that came out of this, it comes with this finishing oil. 
that is really good. I actually held on to that because when I go in and pluck my brows, I actually will smooth that over after I finish plucking my brows. So I kept that, but this wax strips itself just were not good at all. Okay, some more Bath & Body Works stuff. This label has rubbed off, so I'm sure you cannot see what this is. But this was a Bath & Body Works Sweet Pea, which had been in the bottom of my purse forever. So I finally used that. Love it. I used a, this is a new scent to me that I had never used from Bath & Body Works. This is A Thousand Wishes, and oh my gosh. This is like my new favorite Bath & Body Works scent anywhere ever. Like, if I could only buy one scent from Bath & Body Works for the rest of my life, A Thousand Wishes would be it. I love it more than my Vanilla Sugar. I love it more than my Pink Chiffon. I love it more than anything else. I mean, when I smelled this for the first time, I literally, fell in love in the store i love this i went back to bath and body works when they had the buy three get two free and i literally bought like five of these because let's be real my a thousand wishes obsession is all the way real i didn't really go through this i just did not like this this was the wet and wild h2o proof liquid eyeliner and it's a felt tip so i was like okay this is gonna be like really really good and then when i put it on my eyes it was just chalky and i was just like mm -mm, no so I didn't like that. I went through this lip scrub by Oh My Pash. This is the O Peaches Sugar Lip Scrub. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you already know about this because I have done Get Ready With Me so many times with this. But this is what the inside looks like. And as you can see, I have like scraped this thing until I cannot scrape it anymore. This is the best sugar lip scrub I have ever ever used. I got another one in my Ipsy bag that I just I didn't really like it so I'm definitely going to repurchase this because this is so so good. I just decided to get rid of this NYC lipstick because honestly I just don't care for the color. I will swatch it so you can see. It's a pretty color but I just didn't like it on me so you already know where that's going. Freelance kit, okay. Okay, so this toothpaste is so, so good. This is the Colgate Optic White Toothpaste. This is bomb. I did a before and after comparison on my Instagram, so you guys can go to my Instagram page and check that out. But it isn't going to give you, like, super, you know, you're not going to go from, like, yellow to, like, stark white teeth. It's not going to give you like that type of results, but if you continue to use it, you will see results with it. I could definitely see results after just a couple of weeks. So I really, really like this and I definitely plan on repurchasing it. Sealer by Evelyn, Evelyn Iona. This is, it does not have a number, which really irritates me because this was like the perfect match for me. I love this concealer. I got it in my Ipsy bag, I want to say, and it doesn't have shade match. So I would repurchase it, but there's no shade. So I really, really love that. This is something that I've raved about forever, and then I'm like, now I'm just like, why was I ever using that in the first place? This is the Maybelline Baby Lips. I still have the one that comes in the blue tube, the medicated one. This is the Peach Kisses one. And this one, it like clings to all the fine lines in your lips. And it just like sits on top of your lips and it doesn't moisturize them. So I did not use it all. I used like maybe half of it. But I'm just going to toss it because it's just not good to me anymore. I got this in my Ipsy bag and I'm going to try to like trade it or something because I just don't like it. I love the color and this is why, no, I'm just getting rid of this because I just opened the tube and this is what happened. The whole entire lipstick came out. So nope, won't be giving this to anybody. I'll just be trashing it. But this is the Pacifica Power of Love Powerful Color Natural Lipstick in the color Nudie Red. Garbage. Hated it. Okay, I went through my Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer. Looks like that. Girl! This is so good. Like, I use this along with the foundation, and those two together just give me the most flawless, 
face I have ever seen in my life. I'm wearing both of them now. I love, and I used to never be a under eye concealer person because I really don't have like dark circles or anything to cover but I was just like I just like you know to highlight so I'm in the shade light medium they have like a porcelain or a fair shade which is too too light so this is like the perfect shade for me and I love it because I could just highlight my face with it it just gives me a subtle little highlight without being like overpowering and crazy looking so I absolutely love this I went through my It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. This was just okay. I re This is a repurchase, and the last time I had it, I just felt like it was just so, so good. And this time when I used it, it was just okay. I didn't feel like it gave me as much coverage as it did the last time. It could be that my skin is just a lot worse than the last time that I used it, but I just did not like it this time. Okay. NYC Liquid Liner in Black. This has been a staple for a long, long time. And I had to get something else anyway because I was out of this and my local CVS did not have this. But they had the Wet n Wild one, which is what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. And girl, I prefer the formula of the Wet n Wild one over the NYC. The brush is smaller and I feel like it's easier to to apply and I just love it and it's only 99 cents this is like four bucks so hmm I will be repurchasing the wet and wild okay two mascaras that I went through I went through the Maybelline falsies one and I went through the benefit roller lash I absolutely love these I actually use these two together I applied this one first and it really just separates your lashes and curls them so no eyelash curler needed and then this one just gives you that length oh mg these are so so good you definitely need to check them out I went through my Murad Acne Control Solution which is really really great for treating acne I love it okay just a couple more things because I know this video is kind of long Okay, this is another fail for me. This is the e.l.f. Baked Blush in the color Peachy Cheeky. And it looks so, so pretty in here. And when you swatch it, it, like, does not show up at all. So this is it swatch right here. You can barely see it. So it just didn't show up on me. So that's the only reason I'm getting rid of it. Okay, I have two more hand sanitizers that I went through. I went through the Up and Up Crisp Apple hand sanitizer from Target. If you guys are into the Bath and Body Works Apple, I, I can't remember what they're calling it now because they reformulated so many times. It was Country Apple, then it was like Crisp Apple or something like that. And now it's Tis the Season, so I don't know what they're repackaging it as now after the holidays. But this smells exactly like country apple from bath and body works and this was maybe like 99 cent maybe a dollar and some change at the most so this is a really really good dupe for the bath and body works mini back and then i went through another bath and body works mini back and vanilla bean noel this smells really really good it was one of their christmas scents that they rolled out so i'm pretty sure it's not available anymore but it smells really really good Last but not least, I have two eyeliners. Obviously, I didn't use them, but I just can't use them anymore because they just irritate my eyes, and I just, I can't. So, this first one is the NYX Slide On Glide On pencil, and this is just in the brown color. So, that is what it looks like swatch. Very pretty, but it irritated my eyes, so I just, I can't. And then this one I got in an Ipsy bag. This is the Makeup of the Day Waterproof Pencil in Bronze. And it has completely dried up. Like, I'm trying to swatch it, and it's not even, like swatching good but it's just completely dried up and when I first got it in my ipsy bag and I tried it like the next day it wasn't dry but it just did not show up on me at all so 
that's why I'm trashing that one. So everything that I wanted to show you guys, those are all of my recent empties. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you made it to the end because I know this is a super, super long video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Definitely comment any um, requests for tutorials or videos that you want to see. Definitely comment below. Definitely give this video... Definitely give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you are not already. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys and I will talk to you very, very soon in another video. Bye!